हिलने की कोशिश की तो तेरे अंडो का आमलेट बना दूंगा ओके Right after Sita Ram, I had Chup. So that was a lot more mean and nasty and a murderer. So Arjun isn't that evil. He's a little grey. That's about it. But he's romantic. So tick. Rajan D K are the creators. One. Uh, it has got this incredible cast of all of us. Two. Yeah. I am in it. <laughs> it's set in a fictional town and it's uh, filled with nostalgia and 90s uh... and it's on Netflix which is known for quality work. How do they feel like people comparing them with Christopher Nolan and which of them is Christopher and which of them Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> You should ask them that uh, how is it to work with possibly the Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing to work with them. They create such wonderful worlds. They write such wonderful parts, and they give you. Uh, they create a very conducive environment to be creative. Why? You are party pant. You pant, man. Is he goatee? Did he get? No, no, no. I think more than Nolan, I would say they are the the right reference would be. Uh, Cohen brothers. Uh, Cohen brothers, Fincher. Uh, you know all these guys. Nolan, of course, makes really big budget and massive and, and number of months of shoots. They do it in the right budget. They do it in the right number right. of days and finish at the right time. And with a great content, quirky, humorous, funny, drama, relationships, sab hai. I think because it's set in '90s, so I really had to little bit go back and and revisit my '90s days so that if I as an as an actor if i could bring in something from that era like a prop or something in the styling hair styling uh focus was there also a lot and apart from that much of it was already in the script so as an actor my job was just to be sincere to the written material and then add on whatever i i felt like adding to it uh, on top of it but that's my job as an actor he's a not case he's a wacko guy he's just I don't know like I I could never be friends I could actually I, I don't mind being friends with him because I know he would stand by me forever I think wo yaro ka yaar hai tipu doston ke liye wo sab kuch kar sakta hai but apart from that you I, I don't trust him I think because he would uh, just be a different guy tomorrow I don't know him like that's the thing about him you don't know him is he a bit of a really. loser but then, i know he's the like, <laughs> no he's sort of he starts off a, as loser but then he kind of no does. he's not a loser in his head i think he's not a loser he's he's doing well in life he's aspirational actually mm. he wants to open a garage you know like a small garage mm. not big garage wo hi uski zindagi hai usko wo hi karna tha sapne hai uske but then of course somebody was doing bug bug is like check abhi tu mar kyu gaya abhi abhi shit mar gaya yeah but Yeah, he's a weird guy. Lot of the references uh, that were written and also that we discussed with Rajan D K were from the '90s. I put whatever came to my mind. I would just throw it in. I would just uh, uh, share ideas with uh, with Raj sir over uh, messages, and then uh, a lot of these things came together. So there's like pop culture references. There's refer- of course the hairstyle is sort of inspired by Sanjay Dutt, and there are so many other things. There's a specific kind of a knife that I use that is an ode to sort of uh, Bollywood cinema, Hindi cinema. and um, uh, there is a little bit of a wrestling there's some undertaker and then some other things are all 90s things are there and a whole lot of imagination also both from rajin dk and myself i think the technicality of it and the pace of it is a little different a lot of the subjects were very dodgy in the 90s no huh? <laughs> <laughs> i mean they're not so dodgy anymore uh, yeah i mean and, and a lot of a lot of i think uh, a lot of political correctness is also uh, is being curated very carefully now uh, uh, a lot of times at that time um, not that you could get away with it yeah yeah exactly some songs which is like what really these are the real lyrics like you know so some, yeah so those kind of things were हर दौर की अपनी परेशानी और अपनी खूबियां होती हैं। आई थिंक वी अराइव अराइवर टुगेदर आई थिंक बिटवीन द डायरेक्टर्स एंड एंड मी एंड थिंक लॉर्ड ऑफ इट वाज देयर इन द राइटिंग एंड आई थिंक अर्जुन इज काइंड ऑफ द आउटसाइड ऑफ पर्सपेक्टिव इन दिस गुलाबगंज वर्ल्ड आई थिंक आई फाउंड अर्जुन 
as soon as I got into costume and, and you know, uh, came on to set. Uh, but a lot of it was definitely uh, in the writing. I think uh, Rajan had a lot of clarity about him, uh, that he's, you know, uh, charming or romantic, but he's his officer, he likes, uh, you know, film music and, and he has a bit of a past, which is a bit of a mystery. Uh, so I liked all that. I think, I think it, yeah, not so much of that I had to bring a lot of prep into it. The toughest one I ever did was uh, to play Ria Ke Papa in Ghost Stories. It's full body prosthetics. It's just like I was dying oh, every day. One of your finest terrible. books. Thank you. I didn't do anything. I would just, uh, the Dibakar would say, look outside, do this, do that, snarl, no, show your teeth. To work, yeah. I didn't know only actually that was you. Thank you. Because it was so, it was all body. I also didn't know it was me, but then. <laughs> <laughs> so like I, every day I was like, why am I doing this? But such, I'm so proud of it, you know, because it's, when you do incredibly difficult stuff, whether it's successful or not, when you get through it, you, there is an immense satisfaction that I did this. I did something oh. tough. And the easiest one is, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if things were that easy. Like, let me see. Perhaps Blur, like you know, the role that I did in Blur. Like when I read it, I sort of knew how to sort of sort of approach it. So I didn't really have that much of pre-production. I wanted to work with Tapsi, so I took this uh, one, uh, opportunity to work with her. So, but it didn't really require a lot. Apart from growing a beard, it didn't uh, require too much effort. <laughs>